This is a no BS guide on how to use ChatGPT5 as a web designer. I'm not gonna drag this out or hit you with fluffy predictions about AI changing the future of design. This is real advice from a web designer. And here's what actually matters. The best way to use ChatGPT5, treat it like your design assistant. You can dump everything into it. No order, no fancy prompt, it just gets it. I wanted to recreate that Apple style glass morphism card, clean blur, subtle shadows, smooth hover animation. So I dropped in a Figma file. With older GPT models, that would have confused everything. But GPT-5, it held context. It understood the aesthetic, it nailed the layout. Now I use it like a second brain. It feels like I'm working with a junior designer who remembers every past project. The second reason, it knows how to fix itself. I asked GPT-5 to code a basic Notion style Kanban board. It generated everything in seconds ran it and it instantly failed to compile. Turns out it was importing components that didn't exist in my project. So I asked, this code doesn't work. Can you fix it? And it did. Third, it thinks like a team. I was starting a new website project for a premium gym brand. So I told GPT-5, here's what they came up with. The designer said, the developer replied, then the growth marketer jumped in. It didn't just spit out these ideas. It had them negotiate, prioritize, collaborate. I left with a complete visual system, dev stack and CRO flow all in one chat. This is what ChatGPT5 actually unlocks. If you're a designer building solo or in small teams, it'll feel like you just hired three new people. And that's how you actually use ChatGPT5 as a web designer.